Hey Cancer, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is your weekly reading. Uh, this reading is going to be from the 18th to the 24th of June, but as always, it could resonate anytime. Okay, let's get into it. My readings are predictive, so to, if you don't know what this is, it's probably something coming later on down the line, or it could even be coming up this week, okay? All right, Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good for Cancer? What do we need to know? What are the messages? This reading could resonate with you if you're not a Cancer, if you're a cross-watcher, or if you have placements in Cancer. You do not have to be a Cancer to resonate. What do we need to know with, about this reading? Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good? Whoa, that's way too many. I'm not taking all that. So what we're doing, Cancer, is we're just pulling a few Oracle to get started here. Okay, what do we need to know? All right, bunches want to come out, so we're going to let them come out. We've got fifth chakra Archangel Gabriel. This is your heart chakra. Uh, I'm sorry, your throat chakra. I don't know why is it hard, but throat chakra. We have family, happy family. We have uh, seventh chakra Archangel Uriel. And at the bottom of the deck, we have woman holding the coin. All right, so this is interesting. So there's something going on with your throat chakra and your seventh chakra, which is your um, crown chakra. So this, I find this really interesting because, well, throat chakra says we can't speak or we have something going on with our speaking abilities and it has to do with family. So this could be like family issues with uh, how you speak to each other, not speaking to each other, um, needing to speak to each other could be anything, right? But there's something here that surrounds your foundation. It's a number four card. It's like the four of wands, okay? So it's a this card reminds me of the ten of cups and the four of wands, but in the family sector more than um, the love sector, okay? So... Um, we also have, you know, the crown chakra, which really has to do with your connection to the divine. Um, I feel like, and the woman holding the coin. So there could be something financially involved here. There could be something going on with you and family that has to do with money or has to do with, um, your foundation or there's something about this. Let's find out. We're going to use the Ms. Cleo deck and we're going to clarify with the vice versa tarot where the side we see will be the side that I read. Okay, they have a different perspective on each side of the card. All right, let's get into it. Uh, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know here for Cancer or anyone else who's guided to see the Cancer reading for whatever reason they've been guided here? This reading is, uh, what did we say it was? The 18th? to the 24th of June, 2023. But as always, this reading could resonate whenever it resonates for anyone who's guided to see it. Could be um, something, these, these are predictive. So if uh, you don't know what this is, I say even more reason to pay close attention. What do we need to know? What are the messages? Cancer reading for anyone who's guided. Cancer reading for anyone who's guided. All right, let's find out. Okay, we got three of pentacles. We got five of coins. Well, they call them coins in this deck. So, and they call the wand stabs in this deck, just so you guys know. So we have the three of coins, the five of coins. And remember, we started out with the woman holding the coin up there. Two, oh, I'm sorry, the lovers reversed. I almost said two of cups, but it is the lovers reversed. Yeah, ace of coins reversed. What else? Okay, the tower and the ten of cups. All right, definitely. So there's stuff going on in your foundation, no doubt about it. This has to do with... I feel like this is all about family. It's about money. It's about um, something that's... Ha there could be a couple you're dealing with even. I want to just look here. There's so much in this reading. I don't. I can't get into all of it, but I will say that you're dealing with the fives. Okay, so you have the five of cups here. Is this the five? Yeah, the five of cups. It's reversed. 
okay you also have the six of swords reversed and you also have the full reversed so this says to me there's something you want to go you want to do something brand new ace of coins here reversed right this is all brand new this is all forward movement and into something new okay but it's all on hold for some reason but you're dealing with these fives five of cups five of pentacles you could be dealing with three people or a group i feel you could be dealing with two people who you could be having issues with um i feel like there could be a husband and wife or some kind of two people working together um this could be three people working together um if there's three people working together i almost feel like two of them are involved in some way romantically um I feel as though this is coming to a close though so if you've been having verbal issues with family or any kind of altercations or anything it could be even that you're just not speaking to them or maybe there's too much speaking going on in the negative direction there's something here about um, putting a close to this energy letting this energy um, leave and moving forward but i'm not sure if it's with them or without them <laughs> the tower is kind of sitting here right next to so the tower sits in between two really awesome cards ace of pentacles and the ten of cups and that ace of pentacles hasn't quite come in yet so this tells me that this tower brings a new beginning in for you so this is very positive to me um let me pull some after i mean i'm sorry some um vice versa tarot on it and see what we get spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know about this reading what are the messages so i feel that you feel like odd man out or something there's some that this is the feeling i'm getting off of this but it feels like it's all about to change um or <clears throat> there's there's something here about you i don't know if you feel like a third wheel or there's just something happening here let me get one more shuffle for cancer or anyone else who's guided to see the cancer reading okay central issue is the five of coins so we're going to look at that what about the five of coins here five of swords five of wands no five of cups i'm sorry five of swords and five of pentacles five 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 change this is actually really good when the tower hits this this is why all this good energy comes in because something's about to change and this is a good thing for you all right so let's keep going and find out what is about to change and well for one we needed a change because it's like you were stuck in park full reverse six of swords reverse these are two cards we want to see in the upright um again cancer you could be moving it's very possible but what is all this going on with these fives i have no idea let's look at the uh three of coins i feel like it's around people tell me about this uh three of coins what is it we need to know here three of coins could be work for some of you tell me about three of coins yep there it is look at that so we have the star and we have at the bottom of your deck the two of wands this tells me you're preparing to move in a different direction that you're really going to love now what is this move for some of you it's definitely work because you have the three of pentacles there and behind the two of wands you have the eight of pentacles so for some of you, this is a job change. It's going to be very positive for your family. And you intuitively, I feel, are picking this up like you know this. Your connection to the divine is pulling you in another direction for your financial life. And it's going to benefit your family life as well. Um, so keep that in mind. Now, this also could be your partner. So in other words, if you're thinking, but I'm not changing jobs, but my partner is. Well, yeah, then that's, that's true because I could see that. Um, let me take a little look at this lover's reverse. Can we take a look at the lover's reverse here? Now, if you're leaving this behind, it's because the environment was stinky. Uh, it wasn't a good environment. Um, and I don't care if it was family or it was um, 
business, whatever it was, you were having a problem with uh, how you were being treated. Tell me about the lovers here reversed, or somebody was. Tell me about the lovers reversed. So the lovers is a choice for me if it's not about romantic love. Tell me about the lovers here, and it still could be a choice even if it is about ro romantic love. Tell me about the lovers reverse. What is it we need to know the most? Okay, I didn't even see that fall out. Queen of Swords. All right, well, strangely enough, back here, and I didn't want to go back too far, but I see it. The King of Swords is right before where we started reading cards, okay? Right there with the Devil, and right there with the Ace of Cups reverse, and right there with the Star reverse. So this is all repeat energy. The Star and the New Beginning, and uh, feeling stuck, and needing to uh, get freed from something. This is a decision. So the Queen of Swords shows up again, just like the King of Swords did back there with this decision that needs to be made to cut yourself free of something. Um, and I definitely do feel like the, this is a decision that will be made that will be determining if we are going to bust free and have a new beginning and bring in something we really want, which would mean we dump a bunch of burdens. Look at that. All right, so, I mean, I really didn't want to go back that far, but the same story is being retold. All right, so let's look at the, um, I want to look at the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Swords, because this is somebody who's being used and abused. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Is there anything we should know about it for this Cancer reading? Now, the reason I say that this is somebody being used and abused is because of all the people cards. You have, like, groups. And because um, of some things I see back there, too. But what I really feel is, you know, the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Swords can be energy around you as well. It doesn't mean that any, doesn't always have to mean that you're in a, a situation where somebody is gaslighting you or using you or taking advantage of you or leaving you out in the cold or you know, taking your money or anything like that. It doesn't always have to mean that these cards could also be saying that you're just stuck in these five energies, the five of cups, the five of swords, the five of pentacles. And this is the thing you really, really need this six to come in and get you out of it. And this fool, uh, and this ace, like you need this chain, you need the tower, but let's look at the two fives. Tell me about the five of pentacles and the five of swords. What is it we most need to know about it for this cancer reading? There we go. Knave of Swords. So and then this knave always looks like they're charging and they say something. Well, remember, we started out with the fifth chakra archangel Gabriel. So this is a, and it's right next to this family card. So it's very possible that you're sick and tired of being left out in the cold, being gaslit, being bullied, being taken advantage of, and you are speaking your truth. Look at the Queen of Swords. I'm speaking my truth, whether it's to a love partner or whether it's to family ma um family members um and this is a decision two of pentacles that you have made to speak your truth to people or say something or do something about a group situation or about these two people so it's either about these two people that you have to deal with or it's about um you speaking up to a group there's something about this um or you're going to say something or you're going to this could even be, I'm going to speak before I leave the building. Boom. Bye. Um, I'm going to look at that. We're going to look at the tower. This is like saying something on your way out the door. That's what it feels like. Um, tell me about the tower. But usually the knave who says something on their way out the door is this one for me. Like, I already spoke my piece. Now I'm out of here. That's what I see with this. The knaves, they're, the knaves are like pages, but they're adults. There's no... Um, immature energy in this deck. Tell me about the tower. Cancer reading the tower. Uh, 
Both of your happy family cards are in the upright. Whatever you're doing is to benefit you and your family. So if this is about work or about a group, you're, whatever you do is going to benefit your family. Tell me about the tower. Yeah. Wow. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> Cancer. My God. Five of Cups again. And the Five of Wands again. Another five. Look at how that boom hits. Remember what I said? Out of the blue, you might just speak your piece. And look at all the fives. Five of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Five of Wands. Five of Cups. The Tower. And this is not the Five of wands that's like a little squabble this is like i'm gonna blow the building up bitches right there look at it wow oh my gosh and what does it do what you don't know is that this is going to lead to your ace of cups and your ace of pentacles remember your ace of cups sits right behind all this when you blow this building up you release yourself from the devil whatever you do cuts you free this whatever you say cuts you free from the tie that bound you to this and it's going to bring this ace in you don't know it see how it's like in the dark but see how the knight is coming back here the knight of cups this is more metaphorical to me especially in this case where this ace is coming in you know with the knight in the dark that doesn't mean it has to be romantic it means it could be but it doesn't have to be but what it means to me we're looking at all these cards is whatever you're going to literally say is going to cut the tie that bound you to the devil and blow up the building so to speak metaphorically please people <laughs> we don't really want to run around harming anyone or blowing anyone up but fives mean change and whatever you say or do in this circumstance or this situation whether it be work or family because they're both here very evenly here a 50 50 split here is going to lead to a new beginning and you don't even know this this is like you just do what you gotta do for you and then what you don't know is what will follow they're both kind of in reverse remember this is a different perspective it's not really a reversal but when you do this they come in these come in and these are going to end up in the upright the full and the six of swords whether it's the moment you speak or whether it's right afterwards right something changes in this situation and everything changes five 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 you've got five fives here <laughs> it's unbelievable um and they're all right here and right here they are centrally about this reading is about you speaking your truth to people who don't treat you fairly to somebody who does not treat you right this is going to end up being wish fulfillment for you this is going to end up being you you know and you're coming through with a lot of um uh aquarius libra gemini kind of energy but i really think like it's your energy like you have turned into this knave and this queen of swords this king of swords and you are just doing something that needed to be done a long time ago for some of you like i said you're doing this to a group of people or a situation where you could be doing this with two people three people they're both here there's a group there's fives here you know two people three people five people of course it's going to be different for each of you but whatever it is it is you you're like not going to deal with bs anymore this puts you right in the driver's seat and i do mean the driver's seat it's beautiful tell me about the ace of coins what is it we need to know here ace of coins i think it was reversed i'm not sure you guys could tell from your angle but you know an ace for me in reverse just means we're getting there uh how do we get to it what do we got to do well you're gonna have to bust a move to get to it for one thing i can tell you that you might have to speak your truth about something. Tell me about this Ace of Coins, whether it was in the upright or reverse. What is it that we most need to know about it? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Cancer, you are going to have to go up against the group. 
Okay, three of pentacles, again, looks like this group of people, right? So you're going to have to go up against the group or you're going to have to fight for a job that you like better or you're going to have to, but you are the winner, okay? Because remember, anytime I see the seven of wands, I see the winner, the king of the hill, right? With all these people down there wishing they could be up there with you, but they can't be because you are the king of the hill. So you will get your ace, you will get your new beginning, you will have what you want, and why? Because you're the winner. So even if you have to speak your truth, even if you have to say something that they don't like, you are gonna speak a truth. You have not said these things before, I feel, and it's time. You're following your connection to the divine in whichever direction they're leading you, and they're leading you right into some kind of big win and some kind of beautiful new beginning that you're really going to love, okay? And maybe towards a whole new group of people. Um, something's changing here. Now, for some of you, you might be speaking up to this group or this family, and you guys might all work it out, okay? So in other words, speaking your truth and telling someone how you feel might actually be the thing that was needed here. Um, tell me about this Ten of Cups. So for some of you, you might be working it out with and just by talking or communicating, you guys might all be able to put these fives behind you, right? Tell me about the Ten of Cups. What do we need to know? Ten of Cups. freedom. I took the biggest breath when this came out. Look at the eight of swords. We've got this beautiful eagle of freedom. She's free to get out of that very easily. She's not really bound to it like she was over here. She is not blindfolded and the swords are not surrounding her. Sweet freedom and a new beginning at the bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands. So you have Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. You've busted free from something here uh, that you've actually overcome. You've spoke your truth. Things you might have kept inside now, you say. You're like, I'm not. This kind of reminds me of the family readings we had this week. They could have been family. For some of you, I know you reached out and said this was work. So please do let me know on that. But look at that. Another five. Five of Pentacles. And look how this person isn't really out in the cold. They're inside the building but they still feel out in the cold. They just haven't seen clearly yet what, what they don't realize. Okay, so this is someone who's felt out in the cold for so long that they don't really realize that they are now not out in the cold. I feel like um, there's something so beautiful here, Cancer. We're talking star not once but twice. It was reversed back here until you speak your truth about something. Knave of Swords, Queen of Swords, speaking truth, speaking truth in a situation where you are not treated well, not at all. Mm -mm. It's all over the reading, right? This has been an unhappy situation. This has been a difficult situation. You're going to speak your truth. This could be a partnership. This could be a family scenario. This could be work. They're all here. Um, this is brand new energy coming in. Beautiful new beginning coming free. This is your freedom happening and bringing you into this gorgeous Ten of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. This is all about you um, really just seeing this new energy come in, all these fives, the changes here. But the change involves speaking a truth, saying something. I mean, it's even back here. You have the King of Swords speaks. And it has to do with the devil. And it has to do with your new beginning. Something here about you making this change. Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles, not once but twice. Five of Cups, not once but twice. And Five of Wands. Um, I feel like you're going to have to do this to see a change. Sorry for all the noise, guys. Um, so I just definitely feel like this action comes from you 
causing this change by you speaking your truth by you cutting your suffering and all these new beginnings ace of wands ace of cups ace of pentacles ace of cups again and star you're gonna love this when it happens but when to get see how this ten of wands is holding the ace of wands and looking right at it you don't get it until you dump the burdens and what are the burdens it, the burdens have been you haven't spoke your truth, right? Your victory comes, look at that, six of wands right back there. Your victory comes when you speak your truth and when you grab that new beginning and go. There's something here about you speaking something out loud that changes everything about the energy in this reading. Now, you know, when I look at this reading, the woman holding the coin still sits over here and why is she here? I feel like for some of you, you're going to fight for a better job. You're going to fight for, for, for more money. You're going to um, speak your truth about something that could be even financially based or related. I'm not quite sure what this is, Cancer, but you will know because it's something that you've needed to speak up about and haven't. When you do this, you are going to change well, first of all, it's going to put you into a brand new beginning. You are going to absolutely love. Like, you're going to be in a whole new energy. And second of all, I feel like if this is family related, it's going to benefit your family or benefit you in your... It, or it could be a family situation. I'm not sure. I'm trying to get a little grasp on this. But either way, you end up on top. King of Swords in the Upright. Knave of Swords in the Upright queen of swords in the upright this is all about i'm speaking my truth and i am these all being in the upright like this with this um fifth chakra archangel gabriel says to me that what you say is truth what you say is important and what you say is going to carry weight with it okay i hope this makes sense um, please do let me know, Cancer, what is changing here for you? There's definite change. There's definite, definite. I mean, there's no way around it. There is big change coming for you in this reading. Brand spanking new beginnings are happening here. And it's all because of something you're going to do. I feel like you're going to say something. And it has to do with all of this five energy that's going on around here with the five, 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 five. They're everywhere. Fives are a very difficult place to be. They're, um, but this is done. Whatever you do or say is going to change that. Anyway, let's grab you a couple of angel cards. Angels, what do you, what, what do we need to know? Okay, spirits, spirits in the house. That's spiritual intervention, the presence card. And it's also like Archangel Michael, like divine timing. Uh, enthusiasm get excited and accept the new doorway baby that's your welcome doorway see the little welcome sign you are I mean it's like you're kind of already in a new cycle so or it's or you're about to be but whatever this is surrounds work or family in some way or both right or both but whatever it is it's your new that welcome doorway there, that new um, opening right there is on the other side of that is the joy that you've been looking for. Spirit says, get excited. This is really, really going to be so happy for you. And so uh, I can't, the, the new beginnings are everywhere here. Aces, aces everywhere. Fives are leaving your life. You're in tens and you're in aces. It's really nice. And it has something to do with speaking your truths. Anyway, beautiful reading. I'll talk to you guys soon.